Hey, how are you doing? $25 headphones. £25, $25, all the same these days. $25 headphones. That's like the price of a, of, a, of a pizza and a starter. And I've got five to give away. But are they any good? Watch and see. <laughs> Welcome, so this is Cutting the Caboose, this is a review, if you're new, hit subscribe, hit like, comment and all the good stuff, hit that little alarm bell so you can stay up to date with all the stuff I'm doing. So let's get right into it. Sports headphones, good quality headphones, Beats, Bose, Jaybird, they're all expensive, well over $100, they're not cheap. And that for, that for some people is a problem because do you really want to go training with, you know, of course, some quite expensive headphones on. If you lose them, they get sweaty, they get mingy, you throw them in the bag. You batter them. The headphones you keep at your desk, you tend to look after, but sports headphones take a hammering. However, I am a headphone snob. Um, I really like my music. I, I really like music. So I tend to review and buy those premium models, the expensive, higher-end sports earphones. I like the wireless thing because I do a lot of weightlifting. So I need that. It's cool. So Smart Umi came along and they said, hey, do you want to review our headphones? I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, what have you got? And they said, we've got these ones called the Smart Umi Era. They're, they look similar to the Beats. They're wireless. They've got the new version of Bluetooth, so you can connect two devices at the same time. They're sports, they're loud, and they're $25. So uh, I'm dubious. So I'm, I'm quite honest. I said, okay, send them. Two conditions. One, if they're crap, I'm gonna say they're crap. This isn't a sponsored review, it's a review. If it's rubbish, you send me rubbish, I'm gonna say it's rubbish. Two, I want an extra pair to give away because if they're quite good, I think it's only fair that you guys get something out of this too, some information and a chance to win a free pair for yourselves. That sounds fair, right? Spatumi, awesome guys, said, yep, yeah, you know what? We're so convinced that you're gonna like these headphones. We're gonna give you five to give away five and you're going to get a chance to win these coming up a little later and good to their word a couple of days later boom these arrived in the post now i'm not going to lie i'm a little dubious here 25 dollars is not a lot of money to pay on a pair of earphones and in the past you know i've bought the audio technica and other you know 50 dollar headphones and they've been it's been they've sounded like chewing rusty nails okay so 25 dollars for Bluetooth earbuds? Come on. They're not gonna be very good. So this little cardboard box arrived. So I'm gonna open this up on camera here so you can see what's in there. Um, so I'm switching to the overhead so you can hear me clearly. It's a little bit tricky because I'm actually watching myself in my preview monitor while I'm doing this. So here's what we got in the box. This could really come a little bit closer. I'm gonna stand here. Like it's me in my preview screen. It's a very plain basic cardboard box. But let's be honest here. We're not wearing the box, are we? We're not plugging the box into our head and listening to it. It's basic, but we're throw it's basic, but we're throwing it in the bin anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then we have our earbuds. Pop these off the card here. They're quite nice, they're soft, soft silicon. The, um, the ear clips a little bit floppy. If you compare, they look a lot like the Beats, but if you compare them to the Beats, these are quite stiff. We have a soft case to keep them in. We have some other sized ear clips for different sized, well, ears. USB charging cable. instructions and some giveaways so they give you some chance to win some free stuff in the box to use they're very simple simply hold down the logo on that side and they power up and you'll see um, the little LED will light up in the back there I don't know if that's showing up in the back of the light let's get up close on that and it gives you a nice audible notification too
So that's quite good. So the packaging, the packaging, it's all very basic, but you're gonna throw that away anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know. So I've used them for two weeks. I've taken them to the gym with me every day. I've tried them, I've done yoga, I've done uh, yoga. I've done some yoga, I've done some running, I've done some weightlifting, seated and standing, barbells, dumbbells. They didn't fall out in the gym, they were excellent. Running, they're a bit loose, I'll be honest. I think I would prefer a tighter back on them. But they were certainly comfortable. But you know what? They were really, really loud. These are by far the loudest of the sports headphones I have. In fact, unlike the Bose and unlike the Beats and all the other ones, that you know, the premium brands, these go louder by a lot. In fact, I can't turn them up all the way. They're too loud. Whereas the other ones, probably for a safety feature, don't get that loud. These things are banging, to coin a phrase that all the kids use these days. So what do they sound like? It's a fair question. $25 headphones, okay? That's sinking, $25. And I'm comparing these to Beats and to Bose and to all the premium ones that I normally use. They sound really good. I was blown away by how good these sound. They, look, just to be clear, they are not as good as premium headphones at sound quality but they were by no means bad. I've heard much worse wired earbuds from a few years ago. I've had some Audio Technicas which were the go-to earphones about 10 years ago. They sound better than them. I've had a lot of, you know, the old mid-range headphones from a few years ago, these sound better. The battery lasts, well, they, they claim it lasts 10 hours. That's, I haven't, uh, it's about, it needs recharging now and I've done about 10 gym sessions with them and my gym sessions are about an hour, some a bit shorter, some a bit longer. So that seems fair, that seems about right. For, for $30, for $25, you cannot fault these. These are, you know, when you compare these to a $150 pair of Beats or $200 Bose, man. Now I've got a couple of questions I haven't, you know, I'm not sure about. I don't know how well they will last with sweat. Certainly there have been issues, and the reason I say this is I've had wired bores which have failed because of perspiration. I've had power beats, two pairs of power beats have failed because of perspiration. A pair of bores have failed because of perspiration. In fact, bores are to recall the entire range. These have lasted longer than the first Power Beats I had and the first generation of um, Bose Sound Sports I had. Both failed within two weeks. These have outlasted them. So I think they're probably going to be okay. I haven't heard of any major problems people have had with these and that's good. Um, even if they do fail, for the price, you could even buy a backup pair and still have change, you know? So in conclusion, these are amazing value for money. They make buying the expensive earphones a much harder sell, I'll be honest. I'm still gonna use them. I really like the rich sound. But if I'm going somewhere that's really loud, these are, these are they're, they're excellent. They're loud and they're really good value for money, so a huge thumbs up. Runners may want to check them first because they are quite soft on those ear clips. I found them okay, but they did require a bit of adjustment, although in the gym, I just left them on and forgot about them. So the big question is how can you win a pair? Well. It's easy. There is a link in the description below this video. Expand that and you will see several ways that you can win. It's a raffle using an app called Gleam. So you can like my Facebook page, like my Instagram page, um, comment on this video, share this video, subscribe. All of those actions give you an entry into the raffle. And I have five pairs to win. The uh, the competition will close a month after the publication of this video, so you've got four weeks to do that. And some of these things you can actually enter every day. Yay! You can, you can also go and visit Smart Umi, who very kindly uh, have given five pairs in this competition. And I will be announcing the winner on a follow-up video and also on my Instagram and Facebook page. So it should be quite easy for you to uh, find out if you've won or not. And you, of course, will be contacted directly if you're one of the winners and you get emails and all sorts. The Gleam app is really, really good. So there's a link in the description. Please enter, share, go crazy. It's the first one of these competitions I've done and I'm kind of excited about it, to be honest. I think I've been approached by a few other companies. So I think there's lots more of this stuff to come. So if you like me be doing these reviews, and not always of the premium stuff, but the, you know, the, the more value related items too, that's fantastic. 
so there you go that's the end of this short and sweet review of the smart umi era earbuds not lying honestly i was so impressed by just how good these little things were for the money oh they're a no-brainer honestly they're amazing so thank you so much for watching please like please comment please subscribe do you have any headphone stories of your own to share any really good value ones especially please comment below thank you so much and i will see you next time Mwah.